Hey everyone, welcome to today's podcast. Don't forget to tell your friends, follow us on Spotify, or subscribe to us on <laughs> Apple Podcast. Listen to us every Tuesday on Podcast One or anywhere you like to listen to podcasts. What is up, Amanda and Bosh in the house? We have a special guest today. Woo! Oh my well. God, a special guest on Feels Good who's already that making me feel great. so good. Oh my God. Okay? I think I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess in today's episode, we'll be talking about newly released gaming councils, how your work week could get shorter, the best time to have sex, and Ooh. so much more. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh someone excited. got excited. The best time to have sex. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Is it daytime? <clears throat> oh really? You know what I mean? mm. Isn't it a nighttime thing? Well, you I never know. We're changing. We'll, we'll get there, guys. We'll okay. get there. So. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's just, I love how I love how we just jumped right into it. Like when, what? When you're like when? sex? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> someone started so, coughing. Someone got really excited. Yeah, <laughs> it's not really a surprise, but we have a celebrity guest for all of you. He is a social media star. You're a celebrity too. You're you're the guest. Oh yeah. Yeah, but you're the guest. You're our yeah. first celebrity guest. <gasps> he is our first. That oh, is yeah. so oh, my true. Gosh. Yeah. <laughs> That's so Who cool. The you're the first. Oh, ever. But you're ever. the first yeah. ever. Good. <laughs> All right. That was nice. Okay. <laughs> so if Good. you don't know Batch, well, I, I can just, I don't have to read this. Um, so he is social media king turned actor starring in Babysitter 2, which came out recently. You're in that too now. I got to see. Oh my God. I loved that film. I loved both of you guys in that film. That was awesome. Yeah. Batch. I could, I could watch Oh, yeah, thanks. I would watch that again. Yeah, you guys are so good. <laughs> so, so good. <laughs> and then um, he also, Holiday just came out. You're in that Sneakerheads. Mm-hmm. Killed it. Stole the scene in every episode, every part of the episode. Killed it, killed it. Oh, thank you. You know you did. I did okay. Oh, mm-hmm. You're amazing. Andy's humble. What's this? Why your mic not out? Oh, because I'm using this mic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> <laughs> walking around in the are you held hostage? Wait, what are you what are you guys seeing? What are you guys seeing? We just saw a masked man, which we is very saw good a, by the way. A guy just walked by <laughs> in the background. Who? Who is the masked man? You didn't man see that? By? No. Oh, it was a ghost. <laughs> you're talking wait. about my Wait, you're talking about yeah, I'm I'm shake. <laughs> Guys, that's Johannes. Oh. I thought Sorry, guys. You guys saw someone across your computer. No, it was not here. What you guys saw? Oh, okay. Hold on one sec. Do you have the You'll be able to hear anything, right? You're grabbing it. Oh, Sorry, guys. I'm calling in for help. Um, It's daytime. More more wine. Where are you at? Yeah. Wait, let me show you. Oops. Hold on. (laughs) This is, like, where we're staying. Um, It's, like... We're basically staying where, like, the Dalai Lama lives. Um, Dharamshala. So there's, like, loads of monks and monasteries and, like, meditation centers. And, like, it's stunning. It's super pretty. Um, Yeah. So So I can't wait to bring you guys here at some point. (laughs) I know. Amanda! Everyone Add it to the list. Another minute. Add it to the list. (laughs) So, oh, speaking of, like, Batch again... Since mm-hmm. you know, he's here. Since I'm the special yes, guest. Since he's the special, guest. special guest. He <laughs> also owns a lot of different businesses. You have Glove Works, which I've been to. It's an amazing gym. Lots of boxing. Kills me. Oh, I'm wow. Like crawling out. What was that? I love boxing. Oh, yeah. It's amazing. So you have to come next time you're in L.A. Yes. You in L.A., right? Yep. And then anywhere else yet? Or? L.A., um, New York, and... Santa Monica. What? You have three different stu- like boxing studios? Yeah. That's, well, one, that's two, a, four, really. That's we'll amazing. Wow. Here. Mm-hmm. And then he here. also has uh, nano masks. Yep, nano air masks. Which two what are, are the those? Mm-hmm. Yeah, started that during the pandemic. You have face masks? Oh, yeah. Dude, you're so into Oh, one, my God, that's amazing. Here. Yeah, it's talk about like being entrepreneurial. Preneur. Yes, I love it. I love it when people have that side as well. <laughs> it's entrepreneurial. Isn't it 
hard. It's hard. Yeah. <laughs> or enterprising. Oh, there you go. That's there we go. Oh, let's take a look at your masks. Voila. Very effective. Wow. Are they like super comfy? Okay. You know what I'm, I'm starting to love as well? It's like the masks with the little chains on them oh. so that when you bring them down, you don't, because I keep losing mine. Yeah. I no, lose mine are. everywhere. You yeah. Yours, the little, yeah. So little just ones. like little, yeah. So it's like, they're kind of like sunglasses. What are those? <laughs> well, she's just playing with everything. Yeah. yeah. Found something. And yeah. then also <laughs> speaking of businesses that we own and being entrepreneurial, we have the 66 wine, which we're bada doing bing, right bada boom. now. Six, Cheers. Wait, wait a second. That is your wine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is so cool, guys. Oh my God. Okay, so wait, where wow. is your vineyard? It is good. Wait, let me get that. In Summerland. Get, you guys, wait, wait, Bash, open, uh, like, hold up that wine bottle again. Oh! <laughs> wait. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Ah, I burned my finger on the candle. Oh, yeah, because. <laughs> you signed a waiver before you entered. Is this for, like, aesthetics? <laughs> yes, yeah, actually, for, you can move it over. Oh, I just did it because. Was that is so cool. Party. I didn't know you guys had a wine. Yeah. Well, how long did it take you guys to make that? Um, well, we started we started working on it in like, when was it? May? Yeah. And then we came out with it on June 26th. Our so birthday. You guys started working on it during quarantine? Yeah. Because we were like, we're drinking wine a lot. We love wine. Let's make our own wine. And we tasted all these different wines from the vineyard. And then we just picked our favorites. They all have 91 plus ratings on the wine, which is incredible for wine. Uh, like, I don't know if we can send to India, but you'll just have to come here. Oh my here. God, you try. Yes. <laughs> okay, I just, and like bring 20 back with me. Yeah. No, but like, but why 626? That's our birthday, June 26. <gasps> Both you guys have the same birthday. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> When's your birthday? Oh my god. Eleventh August, so like nowhere close to six twenty six. Oh. <laughs> but if we did a collaboration, if we did a collaboration, we could do six twenty six eleven. Six twenty six eleven. There's some numbers thing going on there. We'll work it out. Yeah. We'll make it six twenty six eight. Well, that's August. Six twenty six August, no tell you. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you have, do you have a good story from us when we were making the wine? Yeah. yeah tell us everything um, about making your little wine journey. <laughs> tell me about us. Uh, <laughs> trying to come up with the name. Tell me everything. Remember? Uh, I, well, that was all you. No, that wasn't me. That was my friend. Yeah, but you, you came to me with <laughs> your oh, yeah, For yeah, me, yeah. that's you. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was, yeah. What a story, Bad. We both had the same birthday. <laughs> Um, we both had the same birthday and it was just right in front of our faces. It was mm -hmm. like June 26. And then those numbers, like you have 1942. Oh, which yeah. we like would always drink. Yeah, we'd always yeah. drink 1942. Yeah. So, so how do you sense. get in the numbers game? Yeah. 626. Six oh. And yeah, that's a great, and I love how like, it's like six and then 26, like it's like numbers and, um, alphabets. Oh, yeah. That's so cool. And letters. Yeah. It's like a nice little mix and it's a pretty bottle. Thank oh yeah, you. we got so many bottles. Mm -hmm. So so them. wait, are you guys stocking all over the states? Um, right now, it's direct to consumer, and I think about thirty five of the states. I want to say because it's just different oh. laws with shipping. So okay. right now we're working on expanding, but we just started on June. 26th. Do you guys stock in North Carolina? South Carolina? South Carolina. Good. Maybe. Because my, my sister <laughs> lives there. If not, we'll get someone to drive out there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. No, I'm going to tell Why, my is that where you. Is that where you're going to be? No, my sister lives there and she loves wine. Really? She loves. Yeah. So oh. I'm so going to send her some. Yay. Oh, Yay. She has to give us like a solid review and let us Done. know. Like honest, honest everyone review. Everyone loves it. Honestly, everyone's like, oh my God. Like I had some. Okay. So wait, what is it? What is it? Like, what's the, what's the speciality? Like what does it taste? Mm. What is the taste? Huh? What's I really the taste? Like the rose. It has like um we have a rose, we have a pinot, we have a cab, and we have um Sauvignon Blanc. We yeah. So and mm. the rose is my favorite though. I, I like the pinot a lot. Mm -hmm. A lot of people like the pinot. The rose is more of like um crisp strawberry mm -hmm. notes in it. It's really good. And it's yeah. like, amazing. It's like 
mm-hmm. still has body, but it's light enough. It's like, it's perfect because people who are new to wine can enjoy it too. But yeah, people that are love wine or can drink it and they're like, oh, this is like a nice easy to drink wine and effective very effective i love effective. i just i love this about amanda i've been like we've been doing our podcast for so long and talking about so many things you never told me you started a wine <laughs> like this <laughs> never came up just randomly, oh, really like, amanda last- <laughs> yeah. i was wow <laughs> i was waiting for this moment and now <laughs> but like so really really casually she started drinking it last week and i was like oh and i because it's super like it's morning for me so i like have coffee and it's funny because she has chamomile tea and Easily, just last yeah. week she she switched to wine she's like i'm on my first glass and she was i <laughs> know oh, on my second glass it's and my new like, it's my new um <laughs> cheers Cha-ching! we need like um <laughs> A six to six cheers. Well, it's t- our saying is time is a fickle thing. Yes. Oh. Oh, oh but why? It is though. Time is six to is six to six is a number, which is time, and time is a fickle thing. It's just like a silly thing. So I love it. Just enjoying time because you got to enjoy every moment, and it's also a fun poetic saying that reminds yeah. me of Alice in Wonderland. Yep. Oh, it, oh! Did she use that? Did she say time is a fickle thing? Yeah, she said the best things in that in that cartoon. She really did. It's on the bottle. <laughs> we have a whole poem on the back of the bottle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that is so cool. Wow. But so, what, did you guys, what was your week like? Um. Well, for me, I've been just like <clears throat> I even drinking. No, I'm drinking. This week. <laughs> <laughs> all, I feel like all the days kind of like <laughs> collide and are one now. They blend together. Yeah, but you've been working a lot. You've been doing a lot of music lately. Yeah. Too. Yeah. So, Every day in the studio, oh. trying to pump this six two six. Oh, he put it. Oh, wait. Can I say? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, he put it in a song too. The name of the wine and yeah. one of his new songs also. <laughs> so wait, like, like just, is yeah, music? Any chance I get, I just say it. Yeah, I love it. Is music a new thing for you? Yeah, starting in quarantine. Oh my! How many things did you start in quarantine? Like. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so bad. I feel like I haven't like done anything in oh, no, quarantine except. I didn't, I didn't release them yet. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> you haven't released it yet. I okay. didn't release them yet. Okay. Well, when when are you going to be releasing your music? Um, maybe in like a month or so. Oh, nice. So, how many songs have you got there? Um, I done. I've done thirty since since uh quarantine. Jeez, I didn't even know that. So thirty wow. songs. Yeah. That's... Talk about being productive. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I'm feeling so terrible about myself. I feel like I didn't do anything in quarantine. What are you talking like I... about? You're out there filming from morning until night, movies yeah, like but... eight a.m. until like two a.m. doing yes, a bunch but of things. Th- like this is like quarantine's over now. Like during quarantine, like literally all I did was like sit around and like attempt to read books or like fake read books. <laughs> I don't know if like, I, I was fake reading. I was, yeah. Um, and uh, cause I couldn't get through it. I was just like, I was just sitting at home and like, I was doing like a little bit of cooking and just really kind of doing nothing and loving it. And, you know, That's playing good, with my though. cats and that mm-hmm. was it. Like I didn't, I didn't like have a grand, you know, like business idea or anything. But the minute quarantine finished though, I jumped straight back into work. Like, you know, mm-hmm. I've been like super busy since then, but during quarantine for like a couple of months, I think I, like a good five, six months, I just sat around. I Man. just really didn't do much. I know. I didn't do anything. I, I want to know I- how, I mean, that's fine though. You need a break too. Like you're, you go nonstop and then you just <laughs> need a moment where you can just like, you know, it's like me when I, I go and visit my family and stuff, it like resets my mind. And then when you go back to work, you're even more creative and oh yeah. Even more productive. Mm-hmm. Do you ever do yeah. that though? I used to. But then I figured out way to uh, travel to home in my mind. Oh, meditation. Yes. I'm in a constant you- meditation, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wait, do you meditate though? <laughs> Is it really interesting? Oh, <laughs> like, I used gonna to. going to quiz you now. <laughs> I'm like, mm, what did you say about meditation? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I did. I used to. Um, in, my, in my school, we had, the, we had a class. And it was, uh, we used to meditate in class. <laughs> yeah. But in what school? Uh, New York Film Academy. <laughs> oh, of course. How long ago was that? No, but now I've done it so much, I'm in a constant state of meditation. Oh. Is You're that enlightenment? Yogi. What is that? 
What is enlightenment? Yeah, I mean, yeah, when you reach nirvana, have you reached Probably. nirvana? Who's, who's to know? <laughs> you, there you we have look it, folks. Like you're in nirvana right now. <laughs> That's how he started so many companies and has 30 he's songs. So in, he's so enlightened that but you know obviously. What? I'm not even sitting right now. I'm floating. <laughs> He's I levitating. Think- <laughs> He's levitating. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a good example, though, of enjoying what you do. And then, like, because you genuinely enjoy everything that you do. Oh, yeah. Like, and anything yeah. you don't enjoy, you hire somebody or you, hand, like, have somebody else handle that part that you don't enjoy doing. Mm-hmm. So you kind of, like, facilitate and you're like, all right, here you go. You delegate. You're just like, you do that. You do that. I'll focus on this because this is where I'm happy. Yeah. I think that's the easiest way to do things. And it keeps you stress-free. Yeah. And it keeps you in a constant taking state notes. of meditation. Mm-hmm. No, like it's, 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 no, no, it's, it's so good though, Bash. I'm so like happy that you do that because, and, and it's true, like actors need to meditate. And a lot of like the really, really good actors that I know here um, who do like theater and who like a lot of like character actors, they are meditating twice a day for 45 minutes each, you know, at a time. And they are like, Cause it's, there's so much focus and like, you know, you're so centered when you meditate and that's what it is about acting as well. You've got to be in the moment at every single given time. Meditation, I think helps you do that. So, um, yeah, it's so important. And I know like on days that I haven't meditated or if like I've really like not meditated for some time, everything just becomes kind of confusing. So I want to reach that point, you know, that you are in where you're just like in a constant state of it. <laughs> I mean, I've never heard <laughs> that before. <laughs> Who's that guy that does this? Shah Rukh Khan. Huh? Shah Rukh Khan. From India, he right? This. Yeah, he does this. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, was, I was doing a TikTok with... Um, with uh, a DP? No. I can't remember. Who? who. Who are you doing TikTok to? She was like a TikToker from India, and she made me do this. I think that was a DT. Was it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Who? Maybe. Or maybe I'm... Who? Never mind. Who's a famous TikToker? <laughs> I don't want to butcher Who's any a girl. And he did a he did Shah Rukh, like stuff with Is her. Because I think I did stuff. But she made me. Too. She made me do this, and then say he like has a saying or something. He's like singing uh, a song. He's like yeah, yeah. He has. Yeah, exactly. He's like, he's, whenever he's in a song or like in the middle of a song when he needs to strike a pose, he like, he goes to that. Or like when he's like on stage, like he just needs to stand there and then just go. <laughs> and the yeah. whole crowd is like, ah! Yeah, <laughs> why? It's, it's, it's basically like when... It's like for, the for, with the eyebrow. Uh. Or, or, or it's even like when Michael Jackson used to like come on stage and he just used to stand there and just do that one signature thing thing like with his like his pelvic tr- thrust like it was like that one signature yeah. move and all the girls and everyone was like oh, oh michael oh. take me to your <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know, it's kind this, of the same yeah. yeah. oh yes we are <laughs> are we talking about what we're talking well batch just jumped right on to it those aren't Gosh, our fun facts. I think facts, I think, I think oh, he fun really facts? wants yeah, to get have- to the, the yeah to the point of this podcast right now which is you know, when you mentioned the time of day. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's just like been itching. Yeah. yeah. Like, it shows where the interest in, lies. In the morning. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We have to, I don't even know when it is. It's in our fun facts. We got to get to it. But <laughs> oh, if you want to know really quick, when did you, did you always know that you could sing or you could rap? Like, was it always something that you knew you could do? No, I just wanted to try it to have fun. And then, it came out pretty good. So I was like, oh, yeah, I want to try it. And then <laughs> how do you feel about your performance? I feel like it's amazing. I feel like I might be the next Drake. <laughs> I think you are <laughs> the next what Drake. Is? That's a bottle opener. What? So oh my gosh. that's for when we finish this bottle. We have this. Have you seen this, Jacqueline? It's no. My friend Whitney gave it to me. Off? Whitney Cummings. Shout out Whitney Cummings. Um, so you press the button and you turn it on. Now it's on. I'll let you do it. I want to do it. And then you put it down on the 626 bottle. You hold it. And oh. just hold it. Don't move it. Let it do its thing. Wow. And now tip it upside down. That is a... And then... <laughs> Who invented this? I don't know. Let me see. Oh, my God. 
yeah, that doesn't even have a name face, for like, it. like the, the, the cork like raised itself <laughs> up right over Bash's face and his eyes were like, <laughs> how much is this? I don't know. I, um, it was a gift. I how went do we to, invest? You just have to go to Whitney and Cummings' house. And how do we invest? Show. <laughs> oh, how do we make oh. a 626 wine version? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my <laughs> gosh. There it goes. There the goes mind, crazy mind again. The mind Genius. of an entrepreneur, I'm telling you. <laughs> Wants to buy everything. <laughs> you, you've also been gaming a lot in quarantine. Yeah. Or what do we call? Oh. I just call everything quarantine now. <laughs> how long was, wait a minute. How long was your quarantine? Because like there has been so it much going in, on. Yeah. When April? February, March, April. I don't even, yeah. I don't, and then it turned into social distancing and back to like quarantining. And I don't know. Like, yeah, now everyone's in the strip clubs. <laughs> <laughs> back to the strip joint. <laughs> Laughing because it's true. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pandemic. It's a pandemic. <laughs> it's a pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Um, oh my so you've been gaming a lot. Are you doing it? Are you streaming it? Or are you just doing it for fun? Just doing it for fun. That's not very entrepreneurial. I know. You know but it, but wait, we had we had a fact about gaming. I think last week or the week before that it actually makes you a lot more creative or productive. Remember they were saying like doctors should be gaming or something. Mm -hmm. Apparently, oh, it wow. makes you product. It makes you productive, even though like at that point you don't seem very productive. But creatively, or you know. It makes you productive. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, yeah. that's great. Maybe that's why you're so productive Sudoku. and creative. Sudoku. I love Sudoku. Yeah. So like good. The more, but even more. But that is productive. But that is productive, though. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's like math, <laughs> kind of. Well, you guys, you've seen all that stuff going on with like the um, the PS5 and the Xbox. What is, is it? Xbox Five or Xbox X? Because I've know, been I'm more debating. I'm a PS player, but Xbox been trying to bribe me lately. They sent me an Xbox for free. Told me all I had to do is put a little swipe up link. No, I'm giving that thing away. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want oh your wait, Xbox. Xbox. <laughs> wait, so that so what are you playing? I mean, like, is Xbox? I thought Xbox was the thing to play. Nah, Xbox. I'm so confused. Is more for like people that are hmm. How do I say this? Homeless. <laughs> and the PlayStation. Wait a minute. Did PlayStation sponsor you? <laughs> no. That's he's, a thing. He's, he's an entrepreneur. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know PlayStation and Xbox were two different things. Yeah. PlayStation. There's like a whole beef between like PlayStation players and Xbox players. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my God. So wait, what would, would you say that's like the perfect gift? What's like the perfect gift someone's given you then? Like, um. with, that, mm, that they've given I me? could see. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. I know a really good gift that Batch gave me before. What? What? Um, it was the Beyonce concert. Oh yeah. <gasps> you that took her to the biggest. Wow, you took her to a concert, and it not was just when any the Lemonade concert. album came out. Wow. Yeah. And I saw her like, live as well, and it was VIP like tickets thing. front <gasps> row. Mm -hmm. We saw Beyonce. We were so close. We could see Beyonce's leg hairs. Yep. I was like, and there weren't. I even, love it. There weren't even, even if she, leg hairs. There weren't because she's perfect. She's a goddess. Yeah, she is a goddess. She's a goddess. She, she is a goddess. She's a goddess with leg hairs being politically correct right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, and it's okay if she has, has like, hair. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Like, <laughs> I'll start growing hair. Like, <laughs> she has hair there. <laughs> yeah <laughs> but so yeah that was one of my favorite gifts you don't have a favorite gift that somebody gave you yeah before? no one gives me anything i want things you, i sent you something before and you don't uh, even remember what it was you know, <laughs> it was that good wanted, and then i sent it and then you didn't you didn't even know it was from me i sent it okay what was it chocolate your perfect <laughs> gift it was your perfect gift yeah you just, it was something yeah, i just remember. don't remember it it was you wouldn't remember? She, no, it was not something she'd actually talk about. She's not like that, Amanda. But like, you know, she doesn't like to brag. <laughs> but it was your perfect gift. It's just that you are not focusing right now. You're not, you're not in Nirvana right that, now. Jacqueline. You sent me Halle Berry? <laughs> yes. And she knocked on the door and you didn't answer. Oh! oh. 
So yeah. you're lost. You're lost. It was the perfect guest though. No. <laughs> Thank you, Jacqueline, by the way. I love the tumor. I love it. What about you, Jacqueline? What have you gotten that you just like stood out to you? Oh, like a, like a perfect gift? Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. I, memorable, I, find, I guess. Uh, like a perfect, I don't know. I somehow I feel like when my, like whenever my dad or my mom gives me something, it's like, like my dad ends up doing this thing where he gifts me like on my birthday or like Christmas or something, like he'll always gift me like a piece of jewelry. And it's like, it's always like a very similar piece, but he'll be like, he'll wrap it up real nice. And there's like so much thought that's gone into it. I know he's like specifically gone and like he's looked for it and he's chosen the piece. And then he'll buy, even though it's my birthday, he'll buy my mom and my sister the exact same piece. So it's like every single year, like we have the exact same piece of jewelry. (laughs) That's but I really just find it, I find it super cute, you know, because it's like, it's just, I, I think it's so thoughtful when they go and buy something. It comes like from such a special place. And yeah, so they, like, he could like literally give me anything and I'd be like, oh, dad. It's, the th- mm. it's always the thought, like, I, for girls at least, because Batch doesn't remember the gift I got him. <laughs> Nothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> he, wants to, he wants to know the best time of day for sex. Like, right yeah. now. Uh-huh. Like, <laughs> Can we get to that? <laughs> Me is just like, can we no. just skip to that right now? Why are we talking about guests? I mean, yeah. may as well. Like, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Should we just jump on? Oh, are, you, are, are you there? Yes. Let's All look right, at here some we fun go. facts. All right. Did you know an average woman's orgasm lasts 20 seconds? 20 seconds? To a man's five-second orgasm. 20 seconds? That's crazy. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> We, we go through a lot every month. I think. We yeah, at least give it. us those 20 second orgasms. <laughs> yeah. Give I us something, guys. Come orgasm on. Orgasm for 20 seconds. <laughs> you guys you get five seconds of sex. <laughs> <laughs> just you know, be like, <laughs> uh, That's why they always go to sleep after. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but so do you guys. <laughs> huh? You guys always go to sleep after. <laughs> yeah, they, they do. Oh yeah, or get it's a sandwich. It's always the guys. Yeah, or they need like sandwich. food and naps and <laughs> all of the above. So dramatic. <laughs> Over so dramatic after f- after like, five seconds. <laughs> yeah, and beg for to begin with. <laughs> All right, you're up, Jacqueline. Why, why are you looking so confused? All right. No, I see this thing. Warner Music. Oh, you can't read it. Oh. Oh, it's oh like, you're reading. It's a pandemic. Okay. So <laughs> we're pandemic. sharing. Pandemic. Uh, all right. Ash and I got rapid COVID tests, so we're fine. Disclaimer. Random fun facts number two. Warner Music owns the copyrights to Happy Birthday. So it's technically... Oh, it's so it's technically owed royalties every time you sing it to someone on their big day. Hmm. But we don't. I mean, like, happy how do they, birthday to pay you. To you. Yeah. Oh, Uh-oh, we have to pay. You know, how does it? Is it like um, a Hindi version of happy birthday or is it happy birthday? It's happy birthday. Um, I don't know, actually. Is there a Hindi <laughs> version to happy huh? birthday? I said in India, do they sing a huh? Hindi version? Happy birthday, birthday. Right. Oh. Yeah. but there is a new one. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> She's not from the producers. Yes, let's just skip this one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> Do you know Good the morning. best time for sex is after a workout? This is due to the increased flow of blood to the genitals. Mm. Oh. Best time of <laughs> after sure. work. Yeah, Are people I'm tired? tired. Yeah. yeah. I guess maybe it's like after a warm up. Or maybe a warm up is have sex, take a break, and then have more sex because the first sex is the is a workout. Is the workout. Mm. And then oh my god! And then you have better sex <laughs> after the first sex. Exactly. Look at this guy. Yeah, I mean, like they're just so creative and genius when it comes to. <laughs> Yep. Sex. Solved yeah. it. I mean, I love that. He solved, solved it. He was it like, for forget everyone. the workout. Now you guys don't have to work here, out. Here, two rounds of sex now. <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends on the type of sex you're having, whether or not you have to work out after. Oh. 
Today's episode is brought to you by Clorox. When it counts, trust Clorox the same way we trust essential workers to provide the care they give to us. Families trust Clorox to give them a safe and protected home. Our community heroes trust Clorox to keep places like hospitals and grocery stores disinfected. So I know I too can trust Clorox to provide my home with a safe environment at home we can all enjoy. That is why I trust Clorox Regular Bleach. By mixing one-third cup of Clorox Regular Bleach with one gallon of water, when used as directed on hard, non-porous surfaces, it kills 99.9% of germs and bacteria on a variety of surfaces, from our kitchen floors to the counters to the bathroom tubs to, of course, laundry whites. I know I can count on Clorox disinfecting products to give myself and my family the best home we deserve. So I have a story for you, Amanda. Um, With Clorox, there's one thing I definitely use it for every single time before I step into my vanity van. Uh, I love the entire place disinfected because that's where I keep my makeup. uh, That's where I get ready. That's where my clothes are. That's sometimes where I take a nap as well. So, you know, I can use it all over like the floors, the countertops, like any kind of appliances over there, door handles. And Mm -hmm. of course, this is the time of need. So um, yeah, it's been really, really, it just keeps everything super clean and I, I feel super safe. For me, it's important to share with loved ones and the public in general how they can give the most care for their loved ones because especially during times like these, I mean, with the pandemic going on, with COVID going on, it's just great to be extra sanitary with all the items that are around you, caring for others and, you know, just wiping down the door handle after you use the bathroom or wiping down so the So important. The toilet, so important. the toilet handle. Don't forget oh. the toilet handle. <laughs> so <laughs> keep it clean, care for others, care for yourself and use Clorox. So remember, when it counts, trust, trust Clorox. Clorox. Feel good. Um, all right. So. True. <laughs> Work out after before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, um, yeah, Jacqueline. Excellent view. Oh, all right. Women are more prone to cheating during ov- ovulation than any other time of the month. The reason behind this is the innate tendency of human beings to reproduce during their fertile phase. Therefore, as women ovulate, their desire to get their eggs fertilized increases. Oh, so and, it's... And ovulate, that's like the period, right? Yeah, ovulate. But right before. No, no, no. So, uh, yeah, I mean, right before. So it's, it's when, you're, when the, when the egg is happen. ready and like ready to get fertilized. The period is when the egg dies and it's like it hasn't fertilized. So it's just like, okay, and that's it just goes. Blood it just be dies. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's a nice way of putting it. But yeah, that's, I mean, not oh, a nice and, way of putting it. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, and that's yeah. When that's when they can get pregnant the most, right? Well, ov- like, well right ovulation, before. not on their period. Right before, yes, right yeah. before. That's crazy. Right before, right before it dies. I know. Yeah, but that's like the best. Well, that's when you feel like cheating the most, apparently. There's just, you yeah, want to make use of the eggs before they go. It's like um, back to what we were talking about before with just survival. And what's it called? Uh, I'll leave it at that. Survival? <laughs> what? It's No, it's, um, what is it called? Instincts. It's, um, what's it called? Uh, Evolution. I believe, no, survival, instincts. Um. So, yeah, like basically like human survival is based on reproduction and it, like mm-hmm. it's that strong. I mean, like that's, that's where I think like all of our emotions come from. It's like, it's got, yeah, cheers to that. <laughs> survival of the fittest. No, but like just the need to reproduce has... I feel created the emotion of stuff like love and jealousy and you know, intimacy and marriage. And it's just because the, enti- just with the entire goal and aim to reproduce, have children and continue the species. Mm-hmm. So I, I sometimes feel like love, it can be a bit of an illusion. Um, because love is an just bring- illusion? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Write down those lyrics for your next song. Yeah. <laughs> to bring That's two people like together, an- just, R. Kelly. I mean, it, it's a super unromantic way of thinking about it, but like, <laughs> 
you know, it's like, just like, it's literally in like for us to just reproduce. So let us, let us make them believe that there's something more to this, but like with, let's just make sure that they get kids out of that kind of. So nah. I think because, because human species Girls are, catch feelings. but those feelings I feel are manipulated they by our hormones by our hormones yeah see like i love you so much i want to have your babies i love you so much and like it's like it's why is that what what do babies have to do with loving someone but it's kind of like walking them in (laughs) (laughs) for 18 years (laughs) (laughs) exactly I love that. Mash is like, oh, <laughs> that's a long one. Okay. I love that. I'm locking them in. <laughs> so moving on to our next fun fact. If yeah. you have $10 in your pocket and no debts, you're wealthier than 25% of Americans. That doesn't feel good. Oh, yeah, because everyone's in debt because of college. Yeah. College, mortgages, all that stuff. Wow. By the way, guys, congratulations on your new president and madam vice president. <laughs> Thank oh, yeah. you. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> Cheers to that. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee. <laughs> <laughs> but I love the first. Six. Yeah, first female vice president is awesome. So cool. I love it. I keep watching this one clip of her. Being like, I'm talking. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm I talking. Because <laughs> she was uh, during it. the, it was the vice presidential debate, I think. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. And she's like, I'm talking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was talking. And then the other guy had a fly on his head. Just distracted from the whole thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that but, fly was the most famous fly in yeah. the world in the history of the world Isn't it crazy though like I, we were talking about this on our last episode about how like people in india pay attention to the u.s elections and like how we don't pay attention to oh yeah it's like doesn't go back i mean like yeah but no i mean it's it's not even just it's the entire world pays attention to the u.s elections it's like I mean, it's just such an <laughs> did you vote <laughs> Um, no, she, she whispered in my ear as I was at the pool. Like, yeah, exactly. In the middle, <laughs> Madam Vice President. <laughs> Madam Vice we President. We do have another fun fact, Jacqueline. I'll let you read that one. Alrighty, Ooh, I like this one. Drinking red wine in small doses is better for you than not drinking at all. Red wine has antioxidants that combat some diseases. Wow. Are we going to do a bottle? Well, here? I know. Well, look, the, like the longest living people. Oh, my God. Out of the bottle, Amanda? Oh, okay. Well, it's a pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> we do it from the bottle. Oh, right. Yeah. We did. <laughs> Which is, and we didn't. And we didn't. And we're not drinking excessively either. Yeah. We have these legal, um, legal rules <laughs> that we have to follow. We're not allowed to drink it from what? the bottle. And we're not allowed mm. to... <laughs> get wasted on it yeah so but we still do mm. no <laughs> no no he's a comedian he's a i'm a comedian Pandemic. we should get some chips on this show i'll add it to the, the shirt list <laughs> wait we need some sunglasses too or you can just put your face mask on yeah I, I want to go back to batch we're jumping around a lot but it's fine um i want to go back to batch and see see what his mindset is and ownership of companies and what is his goal in the the business side of things and yeah i believe ownership is very important because oh oh, yeah my my friend i believe ownership is very important because when you own something it's not just like yeah you can it's like you know you get some money here it's cool for like a month it's cool for a, a, a year it's cool for two years but you want to own something so you can have generational wealth. That way you can mm-hmm. pass it down to your kids and then their kids and then their kids and their kids. It's like um, if you own a, 
own uh, the Apple. If you are like the founder of Apple, you owned it. I owned owned it. And if you, you owned, owned it, it. Mm-hmm. see, you can tell that six two six. If you own Apple, you'll be able to like pass down that wealth to your kids and your kids' kids and your kids' kids' kids and your kids' kids' kids. kids, 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 kids. <laughs> All the babies. And then, the babies. are you wanting to just fill every type of slot of products, like uh, to own? Yeah. Is it like I, I want to own technology? I want to own, you know. Yeah, you know, anything that I find interesting, anything that I can um, use my um, my resources to further enhance the development of the product. I don't know what I just said, but it sounded cool. <laughs> well, whatever you just said really complimented what Amanda just did because <laughs> it was both. It was both really clumsy. <laughs> both ways. She spilled wine on her boots. Spilled the, uh, you, she, you, it, you, you know. What is that? Water or six? I mean, if you saw it, you saw it. If you didn't, you didn't. Please don't spill the six. Because it but, is okay, but I need to ask you though. Like I, I love getting into like all sorts of. Just okay. Just It's a pandemic. <laughs> it's a pandemic. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I have a bad habit of. It's not fair. I yeah. want to be in that it's room right now. <laughs> when I laugh, sometimes I um. Yeah. Spit. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever's in your mouth. Better at that because. It's a pandemic. Pandemic. <laughs> real classy, Amanda. Real. Classy. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no okay but I was I was moving on to okay when you do all these like really enterprising things and like you you have all these businesses where did you get time to focus on like your acting career or like how do you balance that like the, the, the training that goes into it or the work that goes into it or like the filming like I find it so difficult to actually give time to to both even though I do enjoy you know, like the business side of things as well. But I find like acting demands so much from people. It is. But at the same time, it's like when, when you're acting and you're traveling, there's so much free time to do what you need to do. It's like, it's an easy time to delegate. So when I was in, I was filming in Lake Tahoe, which is like a, another part of California, another part of California. And um, when I was there, it's like, yeah, the hours are long, but then if I have an off day, during that off day, I'm working on the other stuff. And I say, okay, this mm-hmm. needs to be done. This needs to be done. That needs to be done. Wow, um, and then that. I have like a strong team. I have my sister. And, She's amazing, by the way. Oh, yeah. She I handles she her. handles business. Mm-hmm. And then she'll oh. get what needs to be done, done. Mm. Yeah, that's great. I, I think a support team is very important when it comes to these things. Because like, I mean, I am so exhausted. On, like on my off days, it's like in, in between shoots or something. Like I almost find myself wanting to find the energy to do stuff, but I, I just, I, I just can't. Like I just vegetate, and like I'm just like I just have enough mind space right now to maybe watch something or or fake read <laughs> or you know like just. But the support team is super important. I think like if you have like a good team that can actually put things together for you and see your vision the way you see it, that is you know it's impossible to do things on your own. And uh, I'm glad that you actually have someone, especially if it's family. Yeah, you're so lucky. I mean, business is tricky. I've been into business. I've done a few things um, where I've lost a lot of money, and uh, and it's just that because I, I I guess I didn't have enough people kind of supporting me, and also I was very naive. I think like when it comes to business, you've got to remove that side of you, um, and understand like how cutthroat it could be, probably, or like how professional you need to be when it comes to business. Um, so yeah, if if you want to avoid avoid losing out or losing your money or losing your savings or your investments. So now I'm starting with a completely new slate on like everything that I want to either invest in or start up. And um, yeah, but I've, I've made, I don't know if you've made mistakes in the past with that, but I definitely have. I've like lost quite a bit. What was one <clears throat> mistake that you made Jacqueline? Like you don't have to like be huh? the guy. Who was that? <laughs> 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 Who are you guys talking about? There's no <laughs> the ghost. You guys are saying it's it's six twenty six. Six twenty six. Is it six twenty six um, over there? It's ten thirty. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> close. Yeah. yeah. A few hours. Uh, mistakes that I've made. Okay. Well, again, I think I never had a proper team in place. I never had a proper legal team. Um, I took for granted, I think maybe just kind of presuming, assuming that the people who were handling what they were doing um, knew what they were doing. And actually they didn't. So uh, yeah, I think it's important that you have your legal team in place, like have one good lawyer who's like going through your paperwork and making sure that you're taken care of if anything goes, goes wrong. And even I think the most important thing in business is always expect things to go wrong so that you're prepared for it. <clears throat> like when I went into it, I was like, oh yeah, this is so going to work. And this is amazing. This idea is great. And let's do this and let's do that. And, um, Money went out, but like money did not come back. I, I was not prepared for them to actually fail. I was like, what? They didn't do well? Okay, no, that's, that's crazy. So, and, and because of that, not being prepared for it, I was like my whole exit or I was not like covered at all. So I think that's important. Maybe keep your legal, in, invest in legal, if anything, and um, always be prepared for it to go, because it's a risk, right? So it could go either way. Always be prepared for it to go like in a completely different direction. Yeah. I would, I would, I don't know if you have any other advice. I think like it'd be great for young entrepreneurs to actually hear that as well, because it really sucks. You know, when you put so much time and money into something and then it doesn't work out and you're like, you well, know, you it's like you- right away. <laughs> and you're just like, I don't need a contract. They're nice. Yeah. Like, no, you biggest mistake. Contract. You do. You if do. What anybody is saying is true. They're willing to put it on paper. And if they're not willing to put it on paper, it's not true. So. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's all is fair, right? So you've, you've, yeah. But yeah, it's important. What was, what's I don't know. One... Have you ever been through losses yet or anything like that? <laughs> um, Lessons. What's one lesson you would say you've learned in business that you would tell a young little whippersnapper? Like enough at you. <laughs> Make sure you like the people you're doing business with. Mm. Yeah. But yeah, for sure. Because you're stuck with them kind of until, yeah. yeah. That's and make sure, that, you are. make sure they don't have any like <laughs> bad, uh, what's it, bad PR about them. Because like, or, or make sure their character is good because like you can be like, oh, business is thriving. And all of a sudden they get like a rape case and then Ooh. associated with or it. Or you have, uh, what's that clause? In a contract, it's um, a clause that if it's a morality clause. So if mm. you do something that like if your partner does something that's just like like is, he's a mass murderer or something, then you could easily get him out of the company and like get rid of him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, like so about about liking the person or the people that you're working with a lot of the times business changes a lot of equations. So like you could sometimes even be getting into business with your family and then be like, I don't know, after you start the business, like things like equations change, things change. You're not happy with the way that person's performing, but how do you tell them? So it's like more than that. I think like you've just got to, like everyone's just got to be super clear from the beginning. Like this is what you need to be doing. This is like your, your, your role. And this is what you have to perform at. And, and if, if not, then you're just going against the clause. You're going against the contract and there will be circumstances or there will be, you know, um, I mean, you, 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 you'd have to own up to that. So, because I don't know if you've experienced that, but people, people do change during business. I mean, like you've seen families fall apart. You've seen friendships fall apart. Um, Mm -hmm. things do change when pressure hits or like there's stress. Um, you know, it's, it, it can get difficult like on a lot of people. So yeah, I think, uh, just, well, I'm, just in, I'm in business with both of you. I'm in business with Batch and I'm in business with uh, <laughs> Jacqueline. What is one thing that you guys can say about doing business with me? You'll get it Oh done. my God. Yeah. I can just You'll sit get it. and relax. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and Jacqueline's like, like, no, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> no, no I behind not. you. <laughs> 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 she will hunt you down. She will You're hunt doing what? you down. <laughs> down. <laughs> Can't find me. I mean, where you go? Rel- <laughs> well, I'm, I'm in free. India. I'm in India. <laughs> <laughs> and I still find her. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, but I, I love this. And I'm, I swear. 
swear to God, by the end of this year, I, I'm, you know, I'm going to learn so much from Amanda. There is such professionalism, like, which is like, you would, you are like the ideal business partner, the ideal business partner. You're professional, you're clear, you're super hardworking on like everything you put your mind to. And I saw this when you came down to India as well. I'm seeing that now on the podcast. And that's like, the you know the key ingredient to like to to any successful business um and you're so motivating like it's like it's so inspiring like the way you work and like how you work and you know just you're uh you're so systematic <laughs> it's, 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 it's insane <laughs> i am right you are it's like it's amazing though like how uh everything is always in place and in order so like and and, and it's like, and it's fun as well. Like there's like, there's like, you know, there's a lovely light energy to it. So it's amazing. <laughs> Yay. Well, it's mutual for me. I mean, you guys kind of like balance me out, which is good. Um, because I am so like, yeah, <laughs> I'm, you guys are just like hey. <laughs> levitating. <laughs> yeah. You guys are floating. <laughs> just like just in case the powers run out but they'll never run out the powers never run out they never do they never do (laughs) that's it i'm starting morning drinking (laughs) from next week well i think we can move on to our next fun fact did you know why doesn't that Oh, Batch. Batch. Hmm? Why don't you read this one? Actually, you read this one while I use the restroom. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> that one's had a bit too much to drink. Um, okay. You're right. I think you're number seven. Seven. Twitter CEO yeah. Dick Costolo used to work as an improv comedian. <laughs> He got a gig with the famous improv group, Second City. Oh, pretty famous, yeah. And later, another one at the Annoyance Theater. He did it for years. Wow. And he's a Twitter CEO? So he's wow. A comedian. comedian. Wow. I love that, though. So he has, like, this great light side to him. Oh, wow. I can hear you crazy close now. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Wait, like, how did I, I still don't understand? Were you picking up my volume from when her mic? Like, how are you even picking up my voice? Oh, from these headphones. Wow, they're that loud? Yeah, they're really loud. That they're is really crazy. Loud. That was a nice quick one, Amanda. That was a oh, quick one. Oh, could you hear me? It oh, just I'm flew quick. out. I'm efficient. <laughs> yeah. I waste no time. She likes this one. <laughs> like oh my god or did we hate it oh it was a great one the twitter ceo used to be a comedian he did like stand up mm-hmm. huh oh and that's what batch does too what don't you do uh, oh my when you're wow. in a I, okay, I do not do, i don't know how you do stand up i i'm it, it mortifies me i would never be able to go up on stage and do stand up never say never I, you, know, you could do it no, I could not do it. <laughs> oh my God, no, no way. I could go up on stage and dance in front of like thousands of people. I would hate to see you do it. See? Oh my God. You already got your first, you already got your first uh, audience member. I would pay and I would laugh at every joke. Even <laughs> oh my God, you better laugh. <laughs> <laughs> no. I feel like that's like the number one thing um, your friends that are stand-ups want you to do is just to go yeah. and then tell them later, hey. Mm-hmm. The other one. I mean, that never happens with him. I actually haven't been to one of your shows. I'm a horrible never? best friend. Oh, oh, you, wouldn't you know if she was there? Like, yeah, like, that's never? Worse. No, because <laughs> most of them are, they're out of LA. They're like in Utah, Ohio. Yeah. Um, oh my gosh. Like, what's, what is something that people love laughing? I mean, like, what's one thing that always gets people? Like, what topic? What do they love hearing uh, about? Diets. Ooh, like they yeah. find that funny? Yeah, just because everyone struggles with it. <laughs> relatable. Yeah, it's relatable. Uh, relationships. Mm. Oh, relationships is number one. The Actually, best. Relationships. The about best. the guy or the girl? Um, about experiences. Everyone, everyone wants to hear an experience. Yeah, that's In true. Actually, one. and I think like there's, there's. 
For free? A personal For free? One. Where can they go Come to on. Where can they find your tour? Please. <laughs> They're doing the Wait, but watch. Amanda, why don't watch? Why don't you come down to India and do a stand up? It'd be so much fun. It would be massive if you went. Yeah, yeah. it would be so. You guys back open? Jacqueline and I would be your backup dancers. Yeah. Do I have to do like a? No, you just well, you can perform, and we'll be the backup dancers. Mm-hmm. Like every time you like you you hit a joke, we'll come and be like, do do do. We'll just like yeah, and yeah. then we yeah. will just slide out, and you can move on to your next joke. You know. That actually, do really well. I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. We can it. Mm. Oh yes, That'd yes, so, yeah. We could just yeah, but totally though. I I think it would be really fun. I think. um Whenever you guys get some, we, me and Amanda have already had, I think we've like, we're, we're, to, we're to visit like seven countries. We've made plans. So we're just adding this one. Yeah. Yeah. We have about By seven way, countries to go. doing this podcast with you, I can't tell you how many DMs from casting agents and producers I've gotten for like Bollywood stuff. Yeah. I'm yeah. Like, so she, you're, I'm telling you by next year, Amanda's in a Bollywood film. She <laughs> is in a Bollywood <laughs> film. Mm-hmm. It has to be a the what? It has to be with you. Oh, but we, we actually had a very cool concept for something that we want to do together. And hopefully we will be putting that together soon. Mm-mm-mm. And I'll pay for that. I'll be the number one fan. Ah. Oh, there we go. You can just like, you can write it. Do you write your, um, like, like, do you write stuff? Do you write your scenes or do you write your... Yeah, my YouTube stuff? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, you could be one of our, like, help us with the writing as well. Oh, I've never wrote a movie before. <laughs> but, but I saw Batch um, working on directing. Oh, yeah. Lately. I think you'd be amazing. Yeah. Directing, I could yeah. do. Yeah. But I like, yes. I like you both to do this, by the way. Jacqueline, you do this. Batch, you do this. Anytime there's something that you want to pursue, you mm-hmm. heavily study it and learn learned the craft to perfection before you pursue it on your own. Mm-hmm. You and have to. True. Yeah, before you go and make, because even with you, Jacqueline, when she came to LA, like we were doing dancing classes. She had like all of her language stuff, like, you know, like every day she was in some type of class. Oh, really? So, yeah. 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 What language are you learning? <laughs> well, I mean, no, actually, so basically – when I came to India, I couldn't speak a word of Hindi. So now, like, I continuously keep, like, learning it and practicing it and reading it. And, like, um, it just, because it just improves, because it's not my first language, but I act in Hindi. It just improves. Um, Can people like, tell? Like, you know. Are they yeah. like, oh, she's American. <laughs> Get her out of here. <laughs> no, but they, 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 they're, they're like, oh, she has an accent. Yeah. That's they're what like, they say? I mean, my, yeah, I mean, like, because my accent just, it, it, it's really, it, it's hard for me to, to master, but I, I keep. hard. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, com- it's completely the opposite of English. It's completely, mm-hmm. like, the everything, like, the word, the sentence formation, like, an, as, like a simple thing, like, I love you, like, in, in Hindi becomes I, you love. So, like, the I, the two yeah. objects, like, the two, so I and you always come together. The verb of what you're doing comes last. So, mm. and like, even like, so if something is how like, say- I am good. Yeah. Say what? How, how do you say it? Main tum se pyar karti hun. So I, you, say love, it. do. It, like that just, also comes. That's so long. Yeah. So like, it's like the, for, the formation. And that's what I found to be difficult as well. The formation is like completely, because like, if I think in English and I try and translate it, it doesn't, it doesn't work. So you've, you've got to kind of be, you know, as comfortable with thinking in Hindi as well, like thinking in the language so that it comes out in more of a flow. The minute I try to think in English and like translate, I'm like, oh, wait, wait, that doesn't go there. That goes, sure. Da, 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 da. So, but yeah, so it's, um, luckily though, in Hindi films, we get to dub everything. So the entire film, we go back in the studio and we redub, like we just dub all the lines again. Wow. Really? It's tiring. Like a lot of people hate it because like obviously the emotion that you get even in your voice when you're on live location is why, amazing. Why do they make so, you guys do that? So basically what happens is there is an issue with sound. 
um, and uh, quiet. All the time? Like, a lot of times. See, stuff is, there There are quite a few movies right now that have just, they've left that whole process of dubbing and they're like, no, we're going to do sing sound. And But it's, like in Bombay when you're shooting, there's always some noise. Oh. And like our sets are like, crowded like there are a lot yeah. of people like i mean it's just because of like certain rules and this like each light man they have like each light has like seven light man light light men um i didn't even think of that that's there's that's, a lot of people so like yeah. it, inevitably there's like some sound happening there's some footprints of someone sneezing there's some something happening so uh the sound is never crystal clear and um but yeah but Man. a lot of like yeah, a lot of films are working towards just completely eradicating um, dubbing right now. I get pissed when I'm I got to go in and, and dub like two lines. I'm like, come on. Do we really need these oh. two lines? Cut them out the film. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> no, we, we dub an entire film. Entire film. I the crying, up. the screaming, like everything. We go back in there. And a lot of actors, what they do is because like they're so used to that now, they, correct, they actually make it better. They'll, they'll like correct it. They'll like, They'll, you know, put more into the voice or they'll, you know, so, um, yeah, but there are like, yeah, it is in a way to just redo Mm -hmm. the performance. For me, it really helps because I'm like, yes, I get to work on my diction now. Like, or I get to work on the way I pronounce that. I I pronounce that really badly, you know, but a lot of, I mean, a lot of actors hate it as well. They're just like, shit, like, how do I replicate that now? So it's tough. I mean, we're, we're, we're between both worlds right now, but it's great to know that you have an option though. Is a lot of, is all filming done in India or is it like, is some done in like Europe or I, I oh, yeah. you bounce around to different locations, but I feel like. Oh yeah. 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 In India. I mean, our studios are all here. Yeah. Our, we use all the studios from here. Uh, but if we need outdoor locations and in a lot of our films, like we love seeing outdoor locations, it just opens up a film. Like it takes us out of India. Um, so we do travel quite a bit. Like London is super popular our film switzerland used to be like literally be like, like i mean everyone in switzerland knows about bollywood because so many films are shot there in the 90s it was like like super famous like the bollywood stars were actually like superstars in switzerland <laughs> because oh, like really? the amount of films so cool. yeah the amount of films that got shot there um, i love it i love how it, it's crazy how like you know, I think maybe platforms like streaming platforms are changing that a little bit more, how people are consuming content from, if it's like a Bollywood production, like it's easier to access it now if you're in the U.S., but mm-hmm. how more people are getting exposed to that culture. Like, I, I love it. Like, I try to like in, introduce it as much as I can because it's like, it's, it's so cool. It's like, it, it really makes yeah. the whole world just like... I just know, one... Per- one. It, Yes. I don't even know if there's like a Hollywood or a Bollywood anymore because with everything, I agree. Kind of meshing into one. I agree. It's like, you know, just the fact that also like people reach out to you, right. To be in like Bollywood films. Right. Mm -hmm. Or like even Hollywood uses like Chinese actors or, you know, Indian actors or like so many people, Mexicans, like it's just that like now everything's embraced, like so many different cultures, cinema has embraced. And because of like OTT platforms, it's like, honestly, like people in India are watching French films, Korean films, American films, like everyone's watching everything. Like I was watching Korean, a Korean show yesterday. I'm watching like a lot of Turkish cinema. So it's like all of a sudden cinema, there was a time where it was just Hollywood or, if, or maybe it was just Bollywood for, for certain people. Now it's like, there's everything. There's like, so, I know so many different actors. It's crazy. Cause like I watch so many t- Korean TV shows I like, I actually know like, oh, that actor was in that show. Oh, that actor was like, I actually like really know them now. <laughs> like, and, ter- and I've discovered some unbelievable actors like in Turkish cinema who are like so good, like European cinema, like it's Belgium has some crazy cinema as well. So it's like, and that's the thing, like people are also borrowing, borrowing different actors from all over the world, which I love. There's so many different cultures now, like in, you know, and different content. So I think it's great. Everyone's moving around now and doing like different things. It's opening mm. up. Yeah. Yay. I mean, Finally. Yeah. <laughs> it's about time. <laughs> yeah. About time for sure. I think we, what we can probably do now, I think we've been going for quite a while. We can jump to the questions from fans. So Yay. One of them is how many pets do you own between all of you? I got one. I got one. I got four cats. 
Sex. Sex. Math. I'm good at it. All right. What is your favorite joke? Oh. <laughs> um. Relationships. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Favorite joke. I'm really I bad at jokes, guys. guys. I don't know any. I don't have a favorite joke. Favorite joke. I don't know either. Um, I, don't favorite, I don't even have a favorite song. <laughs> I don't have a favorite. Oh, name. that's hard. Yeah. I, I feel like also with jokes, it's more about the way the person says it and like the, you know what I mean? Like more yeah, than specifically being now, like a joke. performance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, that kind of makes it funny. Or especially if it's like someone you, you know or like something that's like happening, like the situation. Inside I think jokes. like. And and when people kind of trip and fall, uh, <laughs> I find that really funny. You like the English comedy? It's just the really crazy. <laughs> that that <is> like <laughs> no, I, I find nah. it really funny when someone's kind of well, like fears like skiing or something. Someone falls on their bum. I just find it really funny. <laughs> Practice the slap. What slap? The fake slap. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> oh, I love it. No, that would be good. <laughs> and go. No. go. 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 No, your hand. I have well, the to camera, hit you, the, I oh, have to hit hand. you. The, oh, cam- hit the camera angle's wrong. Yeah. You got to put it right here. You got to put this hand there. You got to turn like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, got it, got it, got it. Oh! How'd that look? Oh, my God. Amazing. It was <laughs> acting, guys. <laughs> Obviously, that was ama- oh my god! But that should be that should be our teaser. Amanda gets slapped. And disclaimer: you never deserve it. Leave right away. <laughs> yeah. All that good stuff. Always oh disclaimer. My god. <laughs> that was a great great slap. What is in your pocket or your purse right now? You don't have a purse. I'm at home. Do you? Have, what's in your I'm pocket? In my- Probably some condoms. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. There's nothing in my pockets. <laughs> pockets <Or> empty. <laughs> they are empty. There's also mm. a lot of holes in those pants. <laughs> Easy access, ladies and gentlemen. Boys oh. and girls. Hello. <laughs> Never know when you're those holes. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, show us those legs. <laughs> Stay less. Right. Red yeah. wine or white wine? As long as it's 626 IDK. Rose. I do see. I do see. <laughs> I do see. Sorry. English isn't my first language. <laughs> well, I don't know. I love that. Whether as long as it's 626, I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> no. What's, but um, it, you know what? It was so cool though the way you said it, I actually didn't realize what you said. I was like, mm, <laughs> wow. That it's all about cool. how you say it. It's the delivery. It is. Jacqueline, <laughs> I wish you were here so you could drink some of this. I know. I feel like coffee right now is so super here, boring. And pour it pour me mind. some. Ready? Pour me. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. 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 <laughs> Your honest review. Oh my God. I'm going to down this. Mm. Whoa! That was amazing. <laughs> it hit me. <laughs> Thank you. Just downed it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm drunk. <laughs> All right. I'm drunk what already. Food couldn't you live without? <clears throat> what food couldn't I live without? Uh, fruit. Fruit. Sushi. Ooh. You know. I kind of got over sushi. I know, a lot of people are going to hate me for that. But even like, I used I could to live without love it. sushi. Mm. I yeah. used to, that used to be everything to me. Mm. And 11 years ago, I became vegan. Mm-hmm. And I, You're vegan? maybe 12 years ago. Mm-hmm. A fun story about Batch. No, I don't. <laughs> what? What? Oh, yeah, poisoned her. Yeah, you yeah, poisoned her. <laughs> yeah. Why? Okay, Why I'm going to tell it really quick. <laughs> Sounds um, scary. 
<laughs> yeah. Jacqueline, do you want to hear it or? Um, yeah, I do, but I'm, yeah, I'm worried. Okay. Oh, okay. So okay now you're sitting next to him. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and that's all the time we have today, folks. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> and there we go. Oh, wait. That's I know where this is going. Okay. I would say fruit is what I would miss. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, just you saying Amsterdam gave enough away. <laughs> we get it. We got it, guy. <laughs> wait, what are we talking about? I like about? that. You want me to tell this that, story? Wait, are you talking about when we went, no, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> about when I uh when I tricked you. Yes. No, I'm not talking about the the lights. I'm talking about the other side. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. I thought you talked about the uh, other No. Yeah. Oh, there's another one. Now you have to tell that one. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell me later then. I want to know. Right. <laughs> yeah. Can I? Yeah. Okay, but what was the other one? Um, the one, okay, we were in Amsterdam and it was like late. We just went to our friend's show and so we're hungry. Um, and then I can't read anything in Dutch and it's how it's written. I'm like, I don't know. And then we went to, we were at the hotel and they had like this whole like shop. And the, the and this is in the middle of us doing like prank wars. We were doing like prank wars. Oh yeah. We oh my God. Wow. That sounds like fun. No. We and should not do that. I again. definitely won the <laughs> wars, by the way. Yeah, you oh. lost my number. You lost oh. my address. <laughs> Everyone knew where we <laughs> lived. Come on, no, my they don't. I my number. <laughs> 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 Anyways, so we were in Amsterdam, and then he, I was hungry, and then he was like, oh, let me make the, get this pasta, let me make this pasta, and then he made it, and then I was eating it. I'm like, it kind of tastes like... Um, like, Mud. like, like, throw up. Like, oh, gross. And I'm like, I took one bite and I swallowed it. I'm like, mm. I took another bite just to see. And I remember that when I, I was remember. eating it and I was like, please at you tell me like, it was not. Oh my God. What was it? It was, uh, what was it? Bolognese. Yeah. And I've been vegan for like oh, my whole. <laughs> <laughs> I've been vegan my whole life and then not that's not true. But I've been vegan for a long time and then he tricked me with pulling it. Is that a ghost? Did you see him, Jacqueline? My, my breakfast. Oh, what'd you get for breakfast? Oh, cool. Um, what did I oh, oh my god! I got some pancakes. Oh damn, you eating good, girl. I got some pancakes, I got some Berries. Oh, I got some jam. Oh, damn. Yay! I love you guys. You're like. I'll eat breakfast. Yeah. Last question. What is something that makes you guys smile every day? Uh, my work. My dog. Oh. Oh, yeah, I, I want to change mine. Um, my, <laughs> my cats. <laughs> so that's the difference between cat people and dog people. Dog people get real love yeah. from the dogs, and then the cat people just, like, have a roommate. Yeah, dogs, well, like, love you. <laughs> but, <laughs> when, <laughs> but when they give love, it's so cute. It's, like, cuter and nicer. <laughs> Yes. I'm allergic. <laughs> All right. So the winner announcement of our cash prize giveaway. Batch. Why isn't Batch announce it? Oh, good. Okay. Huh? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> announce our winner for the one? week. Oh, so this is the winner announcement, and this is what they wrote on their review to win the cash prize. Oh. And then that's what you read. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wait, just ladies? Yeah, because we're two girls, and now it's you. So you can say ladies and batch. Ladies and batch. It's wonderful to hear the back-end stories of celebrities. I love your messages that all voices matter. Jacqueline, looking forward to your five upcoming movies. Five? <laughs> Whoa. Slow down, baby girl. Eight. Eight? Looking forward to your eight upcoming movies and hearing about <laughs> them on the podcast. Global Girls. Woo! Winner, winner. Is that what this podcast Woo. is called? 
Global Girls? No, that's the- no. Oh, <laughs> maybe you should read it. <laughs> yeah, that works. Uh, congratulations well, thanks for leaving us a five-star review on apple podcast keep leaving us positive five-star reviews and you can w- win some money honey so moving on <laughs> we're all wow. here to tell you i don't know what i'm saying jack let me do that if again. you simply want to feel good and listen you can follow <laughs> feels good on spotify or podcast one or anywhere you want to listen podcasts Thank you so much for listening. See you next Tuesday. You sexy. Woo-hoo! Wait, do you curse? <laughs> yes. Oh my God, that's crazy. You got censored as, when, the minute you said that on my really? side. It blew. Yeah. It, no, it just went, you sexy. Right now. Yeah. And I was Thank like, you so much for listening. See you next Tuesday, you sexy motherfuckers. There we go again. <laughs> Thanks <joking>. for listening. <laughs> See you next Tuesday, you sexy motherfuckers. <laughs> Is it, it Is it doing? <laughs> yes, it? Is it doing? you did it. <laughs> Thanks so that. much for listening. See you next Tuesday, you sexy mother <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Love you guys. Bye. Everyone. Oh my God. Bye. Bye. <laughs>